What is the single force that controls the quality of your life? If there was one gift our Creator has given us, or the universe, whatever you believe, what is it, what is the one power that you have right now in this moment that can change everything? You have it, I have it, we all have it. It's this one singular individual power that can change anything in our life, regardless of what's happened to us. And I know you know the answer. The answer is the power of choice. The one thing we have in this world is we can't control the events, but we can choose what to focus on, we can choose what things mean, and we can choose what to do. Those three choices, those three decisions really control our life. It's not so much the conditions of our life that control our destiny as much as the decisions of our life. Try for a second to think about something. Think about your life and just think about, are there a few decisions? If I were to ask you two decisions you've made in your life, you know that if you would have made a different decision, you would have had a totally different life. I mean, it may be a life may have been better or may have been worse, I don't know, but you would have a different life. I'm not asking you to to buy into the fact that you should have known the answers. I'm just wanting you to see the power of a decision. How is your life better today because of a decision you made years ago? Not just negative ones. Think about it. Sometimes a little decision changes your whole life. Like you decide one day to go to a certain school and you go to that school or you, to go eat someplace and you bump into the person that becomes the love of your life. Or you meet someone and you decide as a result of that that you're going to become a photographer or a software engineer or a business person or a doctor or a dentist, whatever. They impacted you, but you made the decision, that's what I really want. That's what, that's what my life's going to be about. And that decision has affected so much of your life. What you do, how you live your life, how you spend your time, what you earn or don't earn, you know, who you attract into your life, beliefs you have, all come from some of these little decisions. What you decide to eat from your dinner plate each night certainly determines your physical destiny, right? We all know that, at least to a certain extent. I know there's a certain amount that's genetics, but I'm talking about the stuff you and I can control. So decisions equal destiny. It's not our conditions, it's our decisions. Why is it that you deserve your goal? What are the five reasons that you won't give up when life catch you on the blind side, when the messenger of misery visits you? What are you going to do? What will keep you in the game? when life knocks you to the canvas. So you've got to have some reasons that when life knocks you down, and it's going to, hello, it's going to knock you down. When people disappoint you, and that's going to happen. When they betray you, and that's going to happen. When they lie to you, and that's going to happen. When they say, oh, you can count on me, and they won't show up, and that's going to happen. When you want to throw in the towel and give up yourself, and that's going to happen. What reason can you remember that you can call on, that you can reach on, that can make you get back up? Find that reason. Because when life had knocked me down, I said, life, I'm doing this because I want to make my mama proud of me. I'm doing this because I want my children to have a better life than what I had. I'm doing this because all my life I've been told I'd be a loser, that I wouldn't make it. All my life I heard people say, maybe me take them back to the welfare department. I'm doing this to make them a lie. I believe like Frank Sinatra, he said, the best revenge in life is massive success. So when you run out of money, when things don't work out for you, when things happen that you could not anticipate, what are the reasons that you can think of that can keep you strong, that can keep you in the game, that will be your rod and staff to comfort you, that can be your bridge over troubled waters? Those reasons are very important. Nietzsche said, if you know the why for living, you can endure almost anyhow. So find out the reasons that you do what you do. Find out the reasons that will make you strong, that will make you walk by faith and not by sight that will make you pursue your dream when everybody is against you or don't believe in you no more. And let me tell you something, that's a lonely feeling. It's a lonely feeling, particularly people that you're doing it for or people that stand to benefit the most or people who should be the number one members in the encouragement club but they end up saying you can't do it and they become members of the discouragement club. Oh, it, it hurts very badly. I know what that's like. Have people that you love close to you that look at you with that look and say, why don't you try something else? Why don't you give up? I said, but this is my life. I have got to do this. Make a commitment to be happy. See, you know, I have you laughing a lot. See, life is too short going through it looking horribly tired and ugly. <laughs> Sometimes we take life too seriously. Oh, no. Make a commitment to be happy. Find little things just to get tickled about 
and laugh. Find ways to be happy in the moment. A lot of people say, well, I'll be happy when I pay off all my bills. No, no, no. I'll be happy when I get my divorce. Oh, no, no, no. I'll be happy when the children go. Oh, no, no. You want to be happy now. See, there are no guarantees. No one say you're going to be here two, three, or four years from now. So you want to be happy right now. Make a commitment to be happy because life now has new meaning for you. Just enjoying the sunset or just looking at life, looking at nature, going for a walk. It's the little things in life that count.